Hi, and welcome to another Perfect Score Hunt video. Uh, when I first started doing these videos, I started off with the Nordic countries. I missed out Faroe Islands, uh, so I decided to uh, see if I can get a good score in the Faroe Islands uh, today. I haven't actually been to the Faroe Islands uh, yet, but uh, I think because the language is fairly similar to Norwegian, uh, I should be able to Yes, more or less where I am. Um, I'm going to try to get a perfect score, uh, at least get a gold score. Uh, as always, if I uh, if I haven't got a perfect score in the first couple of rounds, I'll, I don't want to spend too much time in the next rounds. If I haven't got a perfect score in the first couple of rounds, I'll try to get a perfect score. I might spend a bit longer. Uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, play. Right, so most of our islands is by the sea. Um, I think the uh, it, it did say it in the intro. The furthest away uh, is probably five kilometers from the sea, so pretty close. Uh, so in the Abaca and in Bigdini. Galda Vega. Okay, uh, so. Let's see which is the most likely to get me to a junction. There is a small uh, football uh, uh, football court there. So I hope I'm going to see something to uh, tell me where I am. I think there's something up there. Okay, so Torsan is the uh, largest, uh, largest the town in, um, in the Faroe Islands. Uh, so we are how far north? So about 49 kilometers, and then you have El Duvik. Uh, which is eight kilometers. Uh, let's zoom in here. So that was on the sixty-two. There's a sixty-two. Oh, I think, uh, no, I don't think we're there. I think we might, we would be a bit further up. Uh, not in uh, neither of those uh, locations. Bit. Maybe we're here. There's El Duvik. I think we'll go back down to this junction here. Ah, flat. So that's this bit. One of the problems here is the road we're, uh, we're on, or where we started, isn't actually on the map at all. Unless I've missed that completely.
Okay, so that's this uh, this bit here. So started almost in here somewhere. Just gonna have to go up here. And see where about we actually started. So we started almost all the way in. Not quite. Maybe around there. Yeah, 30 meters, so not a perfect score. Um, it's the first time I've actually had a uh, location which isn't on the map, so there's no roads on the, on the map, so that's sort of very helpful. But anyway, uh, it's a good score and, uh, nonetheless. Uh, so this seems to be a, quite a big place, so I think we might be in Torshavn. Christian's, uh, Christian's Gata, or as they called Goethe, called Goethe in the fairies. So we can see south east to the uh, to the sea. Probably one of the, one of the roads running down here. Oh, there we go, Christian's Goethe. But let's just go back to the beginning. And so I think we started there. Oh, I started a bit further up, so again, not a perfect score this time. But a, a good score. Right, round three. Um, Again, we're in a pretty big place, uh, but I don't think this is Corsan. Um, I think this is somewhere else. So we are on Burgöta. Uh, So it's a small river going down. I'm going to see, I presume the centre is down, down here by the sea. So let's see if I can find out which place this is. Oh, well, that's a Burgerta again. Let's uh, go up this way and see if I can find any shops or post offices or anything like that. I will see it's on that side as well. Ivagi, so that's is in Vagi Comune. So, um, 
quite a helpful map. Um, so could we be down in Vargo? There's a burger. There's a barn. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning. I'm gonna go east and just see how far east I can go. I think we're a bit closer to this, so off there. Uh, right, 26 meters. Uh, again, not a, um, a perfect score, but a very good score. Uh, but also, it looks like uh, the uh, location isn't, um, it doesn't match up with the map exactly, so that's that's going to make things a bit more difficult, but uh, it's a good score nonetheless. Right, so this is the first one in the middle of nowhere. Um, so this could be uh, hard. And it's a very, very small, uh, small road. But narrow. Now, I'm going to go up here and see if I can find find anything. Normally, I would go the uh, the other direction, but I'm hoping it's gone somewhere and then it's uh, it's uh, recording footage on the, on the way back. As you see, this this is the way it's driving, um, and I would presume that so uh, quite often. The Google car will record footage on the way out, and that's the footage that's being used. But I'm hoping that's not the case here. Also, we can see that we're getting close to the sea. That's uh, that's quite an interesting, uh, interesting view because you have a lake, uh, which seems to be in. Uh, dammed up there's some uh, uh there are some fish farms here and there's that looks very similar to where we uh, had the first round but i don't think it's the same place but i'm going to see if i can just from this if i can find a location i don't think that that has many dammed up um uh, uh, lakes in uh, in the Faroe Islands. So I think uh, this is the one. Kind of fits with these other things there as well. That one doesn't quite fit. And it looks like I actually went in the right direction um, because if I go in the other direction, I would have hit the end of the road. Um, well, actually, no. It looks like I went in the wrong direction because I think I'm up here and not down there. Yes. But I did go in the wrong direction. Because I'm actually up here now. This is going to be the end of the road. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, so this is east west. And it's a lake. That's 
presumably that lake and there's a junction there which is i presume is this junction so we run there okay 11 meters and that's a perfect score so, so that's good so i went in the wrong direction uh but uh, luckily uh, I could see some very distinct features, so I think it, it was actually quicker to go in this direction as well. Although that's just pure luck, really. Uh, right, round five, but we're by the sea. This looks like a bit of a main road uh, running east west. So we have another, maybe another island to the south. Let's just zoom in. Is that enough? I don't think it is. So I'm going to head in the direction of, uh, of the town over here. And uh, see what we get. Yeah. Right, let's see. Okay, so for some reason they decided to... Uh, show a black screen i've had this, this issue before where you move somewhere and all of a sudden you get up a, an error message saying that they failed to load it around and presumably there's parts where um where the uh, footage has been removed okay so we're in sandu maybe Okay, so we started down here. That's the uh, that's the island I saw in the distance. There seems to be people living there. Um, so let's see where we started. I would say we probably started there. Let's just move it in this direction just to confirm or not. Maybe we started there. Yeah, I think it's more likely we started there. So I'm going to guess there. Right, 31 meters. So it's a bit further up, but still very good score. Um, uh, right, so that was Faroe Islands. Um, I had four it was almost perfect scores, one perfect score. But uh, I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that. That didn't take too long either. Uh, it took about sixteen minutes. Um, so at some point I'll I'll go back to Fair Islands and see if I can uh, get a perfect score. But uh, as a start, I think that was a, a decent uh, score. Uh, anyway, as always, if you like these videos and would like to see some more. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, uh, also hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And I shall see you again for my next Perfect Score Hunt. Bye for now.